All right, so here's what I figured out for the song by the main. Uh, I was watching the video, and the guy's just got his, his right arm just swinging like a pendulum the whole time. Uh, it doesn't really stop. It's when he's switching the chords that kind of changes up uh, the feel of the, of the rhythm of it. Okay, so I'm going to play the rhythm for you, and then I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can. Okay, so you got... Okay, so you got those three chords, you got that C, you got that G, and then you got the D, and here they are. Here's G, that was C, here's G. Again, remember the trick for that is you keep these top two fingers, uh, or these th string fingers three and four on the top strings, and you just move uh, fingers one and two. Keep that same shape, right? Boom, C, boom, G, okay? And then you got that D. And just so you know, when you're playing that G, okay, you can actually leave your third finger when you switch to the D. So, okay, all right. So now here's here's the explanation. So you got down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Okay, so you can kind of use that as uh, as a guidance tool there. You could kind of just, you know, maybe think uh, that strumming pattern as you're playing it. And uh, basically, you know, if there's any kind of stutter when, 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 you're, when you're going through it in your head, like if you're going down, up, down, up, up, down, up. If there's any kind of stutter like that, it's going to sound that exact same way when you play it because your hands are basically programmed to do what your brain tells it, you know what I mean? So... Uh, Give that section a shot and see what happens. Okay, so here's the second part of the song. And uh, again, the chords on this one are C, G, E minor, and D. Okay, so here they are. So you got C, G, E minor, and then D. So this is... Uh, down, down, up, up, down, up. And this pattern is the same thing. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, and, and again, you know, uh, down, down, up, up, down, up. That's how the, that's how it goes. Okay, and again, you'll notice that just swinging that arm. And nothing's changing. Okay, it's just like I said it, again. It's like for every down there is an up. Okay, and, and you just got to. Uh, play on those certain parts, okay, and, and that's how it will uh, come together for you. Okay, so there's there's that part, and uh, I want to talk a little bit about the next section uh, before I go into it. Uh, the There was like a little rhythm that we were hearing that... We were hearing that kind of thing, and we kind of went over it with Tab, and uh, basically what's happening is, you know, I, I just kind of threw out the window the fact that there were two guitarists in that song so uh, you know during that section right there uh, it, it could be much simpler okay so we don't necessarily have to play all that uh, stuff that I tabbed out for you right there but uh, if you choose to you know you can kind of play with one guitarist and really make the song sound nice and full alright so okay so these next three chords in this uh, third section that I wrote down for you it, they're uh, A sus two, C and then D. Okay, and the cool thing about this is uh, they actually follow the same strumming pattern as uh, the last one. So you got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, again, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so here we go.
man. So I hope this helps out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to get a hold of me. All right. Thanks.